In this lecture, we are going to learn about how do you round off a number. Now the rounding off can happen to the nearest 10, it could be to the nearest 100 or nearest 1000. I'll take two examples of each one of them in this particular example. Okay, so let us first see rounding off to the nearest 10. So let us say you have three numbers actually not even two, I'll take three. Let's say you have 53, you have 55 and you have 59. Okay, now to round them off to the nearest 10, what do you do? The first step is you see the units digit. Okay, what is the units digit in these cases? It is 3, 5 and 9. Right? Now the rule is that whenever the units digit is less than 5. So the rule is less than 5 you have to replace the units digit with 0. So if you see 53 the units digit is 3 which is less than 5. So you will put this 3 as 0 and the remaining digit remain as it is. So let's say you have 5 here you will put here. Okay. Now whenever the units digit is 5 or more, again you put the units digit as 0 and add 1 to 10. digit. So in this case if you see the units digit is 5 and what we are talking about is 5 or more. So if this is 5 then again I have to replace this to 0 because the rounding off has to be to the nearest 10 the units digit after rounding off is always going to be equal to 0. But what we will do is then when this is 5 or more we add 1 to the tens digit. So 5 plus 1 makes it 6. Okay. Similarly again you've got 9 over here. 9 is more than 5. So you fall in this second category. So you replace this 9 by 0 plus you add 1 to the tens digit. Again 6. So that is how you work around rounding off the digit to the nearest 10. Please note that the number that needs to be analyzed for rounding off to the nearest 10 is the units digit. Right? And another important point is that if the tens digit is 5 then the rounding off digit can either be 1 less sorry can either be 5 or 5 plus 1. So it can either be 50 or it can be 60. 5 plus 1 is what? 6, 6, 0. Let's see how do you round off 100. Again, let's take some example. 1, 35, 1. What do you want to take here? Let's say 1, 55 and 195. Now you need to round off to the nearest 100. So the rounding off has to be done at this level because 1 represents 100 in all these three cases. Yeah. Here. 
again as I told you when you round this off the hundredth digit can either be the number itself which in this example is let's say one or two right the balance will become zero the tens and the units place will become zero because when you round it off to the nearest hundred these two digits become zero so let's see what are the rules when you have to round it off to the nearest hundred you need to see what is the tens digit which is this this and this okay look at the tens digit right again the same thing is which we saw here applies in this also if tens digit is less than 5 which means that if the tens digit is either 0 1 2 3 or 4 what do we do you will replace the tens and the units digit by 0 let's say in this example the tens digit is 3 which is less than 5 so what I'll do is I'll put 1 here and I'll put 0 0 here in fact I should explain this to you a little more in detail so when the tens digit is less than 5 you put 0 in the places where the tens and units digit are there and you put, put the unit at hundreds place as it is right but when the tens digit is greater than equal to 5 which means it is 5 6 7 8 or 9 then you will again put these two digits as 0 but instead of 1 you will put in 2 and 2 is what you add 1 to the hundredth place right again here the tens digit is 9 which is greater than 5 so you put in 0 0 here but you add 1 to the hundredth place so this becomes 200 right the last one the nearest thousand well again the concept is the same the only thing is that instead of tens digit or the units digit you see the hundreds digit again let me take an example two five three five two three five five two nine six five Again, for the purpose of this analysis, what we need to see here is the hundreds digit. Okay, and if you see interestingly, the hundreds digit in this case is 5, in this case it is 3, and in this case it is 9. The rule remains the same. If the hundreds digit is less than 5, what do we do? If this digit is less than 5, which is the case where here it is 5 here here it is 3 if it is less than 5 you replace the unit the tenth and the hundredth place with 0 1 2 3 all of them are made 0 and the thousand place remain as it is thousand remain same but it if it is greater than or equal to 5 which is 5 6 7 8 and 9 right which is the case here again you round this off these three to the zero number but you add one here similarly again 9 9 is greater than 5 so it falls here so you add three zeros here plus 1 3000 right 